Today on Curbside we have a cart. We're going to take it apart, clean it up, put some new shelves on it, and take her to the shop. Here is the first part of the cart. We got one of the shelves right here. We're going to make another one. We need to make some of these brackets. So we're going to make some of these brackets by hand since I don't have any fancy schmancy tools. So if you'll hang in there with me, we'll get this figured out. <sighs> okay, next for the cart, we're going to cut some uh, quarter inch thick, four inch wide plates. And we're going to drill some holes so that we can hold some screwdrivers and pliers and stuff like that. And uh, roll the cart around the shop, that way we don't have the tools all over the... Uh, all over the table and whatnot. So let's get this cut, and then we'll uh, we'll fit it up, and we'll get the other three pieces cut, and we'll fit it all up, welded together, and uh, carry on. All right, we've cut this off. Now we're going to uh, go ahead and drill holes, and we'll see if it fits up on the cart. And uh, even the bandsaw blades are used over here at the curbside. Uh, I get them from a shop that uses them until they're about halfway done and then I use the other half so it took a second anywho uh, let's get this fit up and then we'll cut the other three and we'll start drilling some holes back here working on the cart um, I've got everything laid out I the holes uh, got everything punched ready set up ready to drill I did this um, I don't know how well y'all can see that I did this ruler type thing on this other um, other flat. I also have some holes that I'm going to punch along there so I can hold some files and stuff. Alright, we need to grind some of the paint off of here so that we can paint this and get it primed. This is our cart that we're going to be adding the plates onto. And we'll go ahead and grind this up and get it ready. Okay, now that we got all of our stuff ground down, we're going to go ahead and start painting. There's quite a bit of rust and a lot of this stuff. Ah, fucking. Okay guys, we got everything ground down and uh, ready to paint. I cleaned some stuff up, and this is the other legs, or the legs, uh, and I'm straightening up the sides on this side because it's, they're pretty bent over, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they're pretty out of whack. So, we'll straighten them up, get them painted, and I will uh, show you all that, nothing exciting, just a little bit of spray paint or whatever. And uh, we'll lube up the bearings on the wheels, clean up the wheels a little bit also, and the brackets. And then uh, we'll get to uh, putting on the sides that we're going to hold the tools on. Okay, we're just straightening up the uh, sides of the uh, cart top. All right. Now we straighten 
this out quite a bit. Uh, which I'll do a little over here. Right there. I know the shadow's kind of affecting it. There's my hand. And uh, it's a lot straighter than it was before. We're going to tweak it over a little bit with the wrench. See if we can't get it lined up. And uh, that should be it, really. And then we'll start painting. If I can get the damn camera right. Good. straight now. A little kink in it. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's a little off right here on this. Bend it over. Oh, we'll get back to it. We're going to start painting now and see how it goes. Okay, YouTube, we've moved on. I've got some of these painted like that. I didn't show me painting them because, you know, nobody likes to watch paint dry. I'm going to paint the tabs on those real quick and sand those back down and then we'll uh, flip her over. I'm going to do some... Uh, can y'all see that? Some antique pewter, some hammered uh, paint. I did this on a bandsaw stand that I made for for the shop and uh, it came out looking super clean so uh, I'm going to put a couple more coats on these and then we'll, we'll uh, flip them over, tape them off and start on the spring of the hammered paintura. Well, I started drilling some of these holes. I get, my drill is not gonna make it, and I don't have the chuck for my bigger drill, so we're gonna have to take it to the shop and use the drill press. But for now, I have polished all of the fasteners that go on the uh, cart on the sides that mounted on those tabs over there, and uh, I'm gonna try to stamp them with with the shop name on them I did not do real well I know y'all can't see that because the camera won't focus but uh, I didn't do real well I, I they're they're pretty hard steel so I don't know maybe we'll grind them back off flat and leave them like that uh, and I'm gonna lay out a uh, name on this and uh, paint that. I'm gonna cut that out later. I maybe do some like outline on the uh, around the sides of the word. Give it a little bit of pizzazz. So uh, let's get on that. We got all of our hammer paint on there. Oh, bye. Came out real swell. Next is painting the black in the center and then doing the name on the, uh, just doing the decal on the side of the other flat. And we gonna go do that. And you know what else guys, I got new lights for the gazebo out here. They work really well, I've got some really great lighting. This is the lighting just from those lights and this guy up here. Pretty nice, no light on the camera at all. When we have a brew here around curbside, uh, we try to drop all of our tops. 
right in here. That way we can make something cool out of all the uh, beer lids and whatnots. Maybe we'll give it away. Hmm. Wasn't really thinking about that, but that may become a thing. Hey, YouTube. All right. These are going to be our side trays for the cart. I got all the holes drilled. I'm going to put a pipe out of that end for a welding gun and then plasma and then another for the other side for another welding gun. Here's the other one. I cut it down. My finished product. Uh oh. My finished product of. With my measuring tape on it, I gotta sand some of this paint back off. So we got those three, and they're gonna go around the uh, sides of the cart. The cart's finished up. I'm putting some hardener on it. That way, I don't have chips in the paint. You know, before I even get started using it. So, I'm going to grind these down and get some of this uh, curve off of here from the plasma cutter and uh, just clean them up, put a bevel on the edges, I think. We'll see. We have got our cart back together, have champures in all of the holes, get that out of the way, on the uh, side pieces that are going to go a key. Well, it's going to go like that, and there's going to be a piece across the top, a piece over there. Here's the cart put back together. Looking shakshay. i got to put the tray back on. I'm taking tomorrow. i got some paint chips. Just because I wasn't careful properly. I'll get some video of it tomorrow at the shop. Alright, this is our final product. We have finished um, all the parts of our cart. It's already in use. This is a little late, like I said. I apologize for not recording quite as much of the videos, quite as many of the videos as I'd like, but, uh, you know, I don't always get a chance to grab the camera. There it is. I think everything turned out really nice.